AutoSA stands for Automotive Open System Architecture. AutoSA Classic Platform Revision An Overview If you want to acquire background information about AutoSAR, please watch the playlist AutoSAR, an overview, and learn about the history and structure of the AutoSAR organization, as well as the reasons to use AutoSAR. You also get an overview over the different standards it contains. If you have already completed this course, the following chapter offers a short summary of the most important parts. The primary goal of the AutoSAR Development Partnership is the standardization of basic system functions and functional interfaces. The first standard to be defined was AutoSAR Classic, and in recent years further standardization has been introduced. Also, a standard for acceptance tests for the AutoSAR Classic platform was defined. New use cases required the development of the adaptive platform. Having now two AutoSAR platforms led to the need to ensure interoperability between them. To meet this requirement the foundation standard was introduced. The application interfaces standard was introduced to standardize application interfaces for the classic platform. The classic platform is AutoSAR's solution for embedded systems with hard real-time and safety constraints. The architecture distinguishes on the highest abstraction level between three software layers which run on a microcontroller. The lowest layer is the basic software layer. It is divided into three major layers and complex drivers. The microcontroller abstraction layer is the lowest software layer of the basic software. It contains internal drivers, which are software modules with direct access to peripherals. The main task of this layer is to make higher software layers independent of microcontrollers. The ECU abstraction layer connects the drivers of the microcontroller abstraction layer. It also contains drivers for external devices. It offers an application interface for access to peripherals and devices regardless of their location and their connection to the microcontroller. The main task of this layer is to make higher software layers independent of the ECU hardware layout. The complex drivers layer spans from the hardware to the runtime environment. Its main task is to provide the possibility to integrate special purpose functionality. The services layer is the highest layer of the basic software which also applies for its relevance for the application software. It offers for example diagnostic services and memory services. Its main task is to provide basic services for application runtime environment and basic software modules. Above the basic software lays the runtime environment. This layer provides communication services to the application software. The AutoSAR software components communicate with other components and services via the runtime environment. The main task of this layer is to make the AutoSAR software components independent of the mapping to a specific ECU. The application software layer realizes the application functionality. This layer is mostly hardware independent and consists of different software components. If you want to learn more about AutoSAR and other interesting topics, go to embeddedacademy.com.